Coach, what were you able to do today and what's your focus uh, for the next week or so, this short turnaround before you have actual preseason games? Yeah, a lot of competition out there today. Uh, guys had a, had a lot of good energy, uh, a lot of up and down. You know, a number of these guys, it's, it's been a while since they've gone up and down the floor. So uh, conditioning was tested and, and uh, they did. They competed. They looked good. Scott Agnes. And they, the Pacers have always had an extensive conditioning test. Do you have one? And also generally, what is a, a Nate Bjorken practice like? Yeah, I you don't. watch film, then go to practice. What, what's the general principles for you? Yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily have a conditioning test, a um, number of ways that, that we get them in the condition that we want. But uh, it's my, my practices uh, generally have a lot of pace to them, uh, moving from one drill to the next. You know, not a lot of talking in between. Um, uh, music's playing, a uh, lot of talk and a lot of enthusiasm, um, a lot of teaching mixed in and out. So I guess to answer your question, uh, uh, pace and practice and uh, would be the number one thing. Other questions, please. Kristen Erie. Yeah, Coach, uh, in a, as you're building toward this early on is, uh, Offense, defense, 50-50, or do you focus more on one aspect of the game early on than you would the other? Yeah, yeah. 95% uh, of it today was on the defensive end. You know, and that's, uh, that's something I said to the team, and, and it'll be the same way, uh, same approach to tomorrow's practice. So, yeah, good question. Uh, uh, major, major emphasis on the defensive end right now. Eric Woodyard. Hey, what's up, Coach Nate? How you doing? Good. How you doing? Obviously, we, we saw T.J. Warren kind of break out, you know, in the bubble setting. You know, entering this year, do you feel like that gave him an extra level of confidence? Or how has he been, you know, throughout this beginning process of your relationship? Great. He's great. And I've known T.J. for a while. You know, I coached him in the past. And, and you're right, he did. He had an excellent bubble um, where he was great on both ends of the floor. Uh, so T.J.'s, uh, uh, he's great. He's got a good experience under his belt. Great size, uh, can really score that ball. Uh, he, he's, he, TJ is, is quiet. Uh, when he speaks, it's, it's important. And uh, he's fun to have on the team. Do you see him possibly emerging as that, you know, top option offensively for you guys this year? Well, we, we, have, a lot of, uh, we have a lot of options, you know, out there on the floor. I, I don't, you know, the, the ball will be shared, you know, evenly throughout. So that's where, you know, guys like uh, Malcolm Brogdon and Victor, you know, they're going to they're going to score. They're going to share it. They're going to get others involved. And and you're right. You know, seeing TJ out there throwing the ball ahead out on him on the break. Uh, you know, that's a bucket when, when TJ is attacking that rim. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. Thank you, Scott. Go ahead. Yeah. Outside of Jeremy, just a, a general health update. Anybody having to sit out anything like that at this point? That no, was good. It was good. Guys got the reps in today. You know, obviously our, you know, our training camp numbers are higher. So there's, there's a little bit of lines at times. So uh, meaning on, on reps getting into drills, but, but uh, guys were moving and pushing themselves and, and, and we're getting in shape. Mark Boyle. Hey, Nate, how are you? Good. Uh, same personnel essentially brought back for reasons that make sense and are well-documented. That said, this group did have significant issues rebounding last season. How can you address that? Well, we had we had three three rebounding drills today, so it's a, it's a big part. Just like uh, you know, many other coaches and that opened up today are are having rebounding drills. So it's a it's a aspect of the game. Part of one one thing in our defensive end that you have to continue to talk about and be great at and drill and and uh, physicality is big in that area. Thanks. Go ahead, please. Chris, go ahead, please. Oh, okay. Hey, oh, Nate, uh, uh, Malcolm talked yesterday about how one of the focal points for him was getting back to shooting the three better, working on going better to his left. When you met with the players, did, did you identify maybe some things individually for each of them that you really wanted them to work on, knowing how they would fit into your system? I did. I did exactly that when I had my individual meetings. We talked about what they can get better at on the court. We talked about things we can do off the court together, their families. And, and to Malcolm's case, yes, he's, he's put in a lot of time uh, uh, behind the arc and, 
he's very good going left and going right. So uh, you'll see some, you'll see, you'll see some things with, with Malcolm where he'll be getting to the free throw line, utilizing that arc and then, and then just spreading it around for the others. Tony East. Nate, a couple of your players this week have discussed meeting with you and potentially playing like the Raptors next season. Miles Turner went as far as saying he watched film. Could you explain what you think that means this team will play like? Uh, to be disruptive, uh, to play together. You know, I was, I, was, uh, I was part of that team for two years that, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's how we played. The team had very good leadership. The team had, uh, uh, had guys that, you know, had it in their eyes that, that uh, uh, they wanted to play together and they wanted to win. Um, and that's what this team has here in Indiana. Uh, I'm telling you the mood out there, the, the energy is, and of course it was the first day and, and you're going to have that, but that's something that we need to be consistent with is the, the energy that they brought today to, to stay consistent. And, uh, you know, the way they were, uh, encouraging each other, uh, it was a nice, it was a nice little practice.